Um, so we're dealing with fixed air, which is Aquarius, and fixed fire. Um, the one thing about Aquarius um, is that they, I just call them the fresh idea people, okay? Um, revolutionary, like no other, okay? Leo, <laughs> I, you know, I, I, we mustn't be judgmental, right? Um, but I, I do admire, I'm more fascinated with Aquarius than I am with Leo. Um, but Leo is powerful, okay? Um, I'm not quite sure how they get things done either, but they, if they, you know, if they don't have the key to the door, they'll break it. They will, they will get things done. Um, <laughs> you know, it won't be boring. <laughs> um, anyway, look, uh, let's get some numbers. For Aquarius and Leo. By the way, when I shuffled these cards, just in case you're disappointed with how the reading comes out, um, what I was asking for, I was asking for accuracy, but I was also asking ugh, for the highest good. Okay, just just that, uh, you know, because we're, we are, I believe, and you don't have to, and I don't mind if you completely don't like what I'm about to say, but this physical existence, I think, is for soul development. Um, so that's what I was asking for, but also at the same time for happiness, all right? If it's possible to do that. Numbers for Leon Aquarius. Ten. Yeah, it's possible. We got a ten. All right. What else do we have? We have a seven. I'm seeing movement, fast movement. Hang on. I'm seeing blur right now. I'm seeing karmic justice. I'm seeing temperance. What do we have on the side? Four. Good. Four. <gasps> okay, pause on the tape. Pause. So the first message that I'm getting, and it's only because I, I've the way that I shuffled the um, Wildwood deck. Um, was upside down. So when I stopped shuffling, um, there was a card turned up. I feel like Leo is getting to know Aquarius. And I'll tell you why I'm seeing this. So I'm looking at their version of the Hermit. Okay, it's called the Hooded Man. Hope I can get this now so you can see it without the glare. Okay, so do you see that little bird that he has his lantern on? Um, I'm seeing Leo as the person holding, you know, the fiery lantern. I'm seeing Aquarius as the bird only because of the air and the, and the, the way that you guys are able to pluck information out of the air. Also, the way that you tend to disappear quite quickly. You know, when you see these cute little birds around, you always want to, you want to feed them and you want them to land on your hand, but, but they can fly away at any moment and then you'll never see them again kind of like Aquarius, but anyway, um, but, um, I feel like he's getting to know you. Okay. He may be, he may be learning from you. The hermit is supposed to know everything. What is he doing? Talking to this, um, to this, well, it's a beautiful bird, but he's very obviously very focused on that bird and he already knows everything. So he's learning something else from Aquarius, all right? Or he... It's a really fascinating message. All right, let's get on with this so we can actually get a reading done. You know, when I was shuffling this car, these cards, I felt... So I was asking for Leo and Aquarius and an accurate reading, but I feel like this might be Aqua and this might be Leo. So let's try it. Let's just try um, doing it this way. What is the issue for Leo? What is the issue for Leo? So we're going to use the Witch's Tarot to get Leo's perspective. We're going to use my traditional deck to get Aqua's perspective. Okay. <laughs> um, obviously, I'm favoring Aqua. <laughs> um, I also think that Aqua understands the um, tarot. Um, and I know we have some female Leos out there, and I sincerely apologize. Um, and I miss you, by the way. Tanya was her name is her name. All right. Leo, what's the issue? What's the issue, Leo? What's the issue for Leo? What is the issue for Leo? Okay. 
Uh, yeah. So look, this is very, very straightforward. Hope we don't run out of time. Leo is sorry that they couldn't manifest what you wanted. In a nutshell, they wanted to, to you know, to be that, um, to do the impossible. This is where they, this is where they feel they've gotten you right now, or, or, or where, uh, they, or they may be feeling out in the cold. They're also feeling five of cups energy. So this is regret. Uh, this is missing someone. They may miss you a lot. Okay, you might miss them too. They may know you may be missing each other. All right. So Leo knows that they weren't able to manifest. It's it's not just what you wanted. It's what they wanted too. All right. Um. But we'll just wait and see, okay? Because we're only at the beginning. Um, from Aqua's point of view, what's the issue for Aqua, please? What's the issue for Aqua? I feel like this is going to be very clear. <laughs> what is the issue for Aqua from Aqua's point of view? What's the issue for Aqua? Yeah, Aqua comes right out, all right? So, you know, Aqua clearly had a wish, all right? Probably to resurrect something. What they wanted was something stable. Good. What they got, ah, oh, yeah. What they got was the cheating, an already married cheating king. Uh, they got some deception, okay? And they also, you guys are sharing the same energy. Look at this, the five of pence just came. You guys are mirroring each other. You're, you're missing each other. Um, you, you both feel left out in the cold, all right, right now. Let's just wait, see what happens, all right? Now, what's crowning the reading for? Actually, I'm gonna ask for the challenge. What is Leo's challenge? Can we just have one card flip, please, so we don't have to use up all the decks? Actually, we, we can, though, go to Wildwood if we use up. What is the challenge for Leo? What is challenging Leo right now, please? I feel like, uh, um, they feel defeated. Um, let's let the card speak. Okay. <laughs> What's challenging, Leo, please? Oh, they want, oh, you know what? They're finding it hard to send out a message. They really want to send you a message. Look at this. But they're finding it hard to do that. Okay. I'm seeing hope already, guys. What's challenging, Aqua? What's challenging, Aqua? E equals MC squared? No, I'm just kidding. Um, what's challenging Aqua? What's challenging Aqua? Prada or Gabbana? No, just kidding, just kidding. Okay, what is challenging Aqua right now, please? Hmm, not much. Good girl. Yeah, I told you it was going to be clear. There's nothing vague about Aqua. What's challenging Aqua is that this all came down, you know? They don't, uh, Aqua, you know, you're not feeling good about this at all. Um, you know, everything that you wanted came crashing down, plain and simple. That's what you're saying. Um, but the thing is, uh, you're dealing with it a little bit better than Leo is, all right? Um, I can tell by the posture in the fall of the, um, the woman and the man, okay? You're free-falling, he's resisting. You're speaking the same language, though. I'm thinking about the number 22 and the Hebrew alphabet and that Tower of Babel. You're speaking the same language. Yeah, you guys are on the same page. All right. Uh, what's crowning the reading for Leo, please? For Fixed Fire, what's crowning the reading, please? 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 The Leo. This is, yeah. They want to. They want to get out of what. They want to walk away. Okay, you know, Leo, just walk then. Uh, not from you, um, Aquarius. This is what they should have done a long time ago. All right. Okay. What's crowning the reading for Aquarius? What's crowning the reading for Aquarius? They may be thinking about you in the nighttime. 
they may be coming to you in the nighttime. <laughs> What's crowning the reading for Aquarius, please? Yeah, good for you. Now, Aqua's smart. Aqua always gets what Aqua wants. This is what's possible for Aqua. Contrast this with what's possible for Leo. I love it. Good. And that's what analytical thinking, analytical thinking gets you everywhere and fresh ideas. Okay. Um, I am not an Aquarius. I'm an Aquarius fan. Um, to save time, we're going to go into the recent past. I'm going to use the Wildwood because this uh, is for both of you, okay? What has happened in the recent past for Leo and Aqua? Please. That's significant to this reading. <laughs> okay, so, okay, just give me anything then that will resonate with... Give me something that will resonate with who's experiencing this. I just heard, you know, this phrase in my head, the past doesn't exist. You know, like somebody is um, being funny. Anyway, a spirit can be funny. <laughs> okay, so what's happened in the recent past? Okay. That people could remember. Yes, I agree with you. It doesn't exist. But just what's happened to this couple. For people. Okay, thank you. Yeah, you saw that this could work. Look at this. So I'm looking at the Three of Pentacles. Um, so the normally this is um, Mars and Capricorn. Okay? So um, this is like an Aries and a Capricorn. Um this is so Capricorn would organize the fire of Aries and, and, and it actually does really, really well. What's happening here, I believe the organizing energy in this card would be Aquarius. And obviously Leo is, is that, you know, fiery and, and it's, it worked well. So what happened in the recent past is that it worked well, but somebody became very, very frightened. And I'll tell you how I know this. Um, I love this deck. This, this, I, 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 you know, I don't think I've ever said that about any deck other than, uh, than the weight deck. I love this deck because it adds something to this, to this, uh, to the idea of Mars in Capricorn. Um, the, these are two different elements that are working together, but in this card, it frightens somebody. Have a look at this. So, you know. I think that person looks frightened there. So somebody got frightened that it could actually work. That's what I think happened in the past. All right, little pause in the tape. Um, I'm feeling like your energies are combining now. So we're going to stick with um, the wild wood un un unless something doesn't make sense. Um, what will happen in the near future for Leo and Aqua, please? What can we expect to see, to manifest? I'm getting these funny messages again. It depends on what you think. <laughs> okay. What can we, what generally can we expect to see physically manifesting in the future between Leo and Aquarius, please? It's that new moon, see? Everybody's going cuckoo. All right. Near future, please. Okay, I don't know what that is. I hope it's something good. Because when it falls to the floor, it's very powerful, okay? Oh, God. Okay, what is this? Oh, yes. Thank you. Wow. The Empress. So in this card, it's called the Grim. This is the third major arcana card. Growth, growth, growth. Okay, so this is for the both of you. I feel like the, the relationship is going to grow and be nurtured really do I, there's nothing bad about this card and you know what this is the world of man you know like she um the empress is you know after the um card number two after the high priestess really we, we just get spin-offs from from the fool the magician and the high priestess the empress you know she can't survive without the little river of the high priestess coming down um, but what's good about that is that this is everything physical, okay? This isn't a pipe dream. This is something that's going to physically manifest. Um, I'm going to ask for outside. So I'm going to go to outside forces affecting Leo, okay? 
What are the outside forces affecting Leo? Because you might be able to, you might find this um, helpful. What's affecting Leo from the outside? Okay. What's affecting Leo from the outside that Aqua doesn't know about? This is. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Uh, three of Wands and Four of Wands. Fire, 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 stability. Uh, what did I just say? I mean, the twos are the unmanifest. The threes are where things manifest. What's affecting? I, I'm not. I'm going to skip Aqua. Okay, we're going to go straight to the outcome because I feel like um, no, that's not fair. What's affecting Aqua from the outside that Leo may not know about? That. Ah, oh, ten of pence. Good, Aqua. See? Very straightforward. They know what they're doing. Stability. Okay, we're ready for the outcome. I'm actually nervous. I'm actually nervous. Okay. So we're going to get the outcome from the Wildwood. All right? Can we please have a very accurate... We can take whatever the result is. Can we have an accurate outcome? For Aquarius and Leo. The ones that are watching this reading, please. Okay, so I'm feeling like doing an intuitive split. Which card will it be, please? It's going to be the one that's underneath. So when I pick up the... Okay, all right. Accurate outcome for Leo and Aqua. Okay, what is this? Oh, wow. Look, temperance, and that was one of your numbers. Um, you know, balance this. Do you see how you guys intertwine and work perfectly? If you thought this couldn't work, it, it will work. <laughs> I don't like using uh, negative words. Um, wow. Anyway, I'm going to stop so I can hurry up and post this. I'm so excited. Um, that was beautiful, guys. Congratulations. 